nearly 400 treaties between the U.S. and American Indian nations. They are the pages of an extraordinary story. The rise of a new great nation at the sacrifice of hundreds of others. Now, more than 100 years later, those treaties still stand. And so do the native peoples, holding both sides to the promises they made. We're bound by those treaties. Your nation is bound by those treaties. And we have to go back to that very basic foundation of shaking hands and facing the future together. In order to understand fully the American experience, you have to understand the relationship between the United States and the Indian nations, how that relationship evolved right up to what it is today. America is missing the treaty story. America is missing this important part of diplomacy amongst nations that made the United States the United States. Treaties are their treaties. They're not just Indian treaties. One of the earliest treaties was known as the Two-Row Wampum Belt, or Guswenta. Without a single word, it conveyed both term and spirit of the relationship between two nations. The two purple rows of beads symbolized two paths, one for the European ship, one for an Indian canoe. They would travel forward into the future side by side, not intersecting or interfering with each other. The surrounding white beads symbolize the enduring peace and friendship between the two nations as they travel down the river of life. The Gaswenta set the tone of goodwill and equality for the early written treaties. These treaties really were made by people who wished each other well and who depended on each other. They didn't want to see each other be harmed. In the first years of American independence, Treaties were a good deal for both sides. They guaranteed friendship and allies for the Americans when they were in a very weak position, and they guaranteed peace and security for the Indian nations in North America who were worried about expansion. But while the Gaswenta always wove the ideals of fairness and brotherhood, the written treaties took on an increasingly stark, not at all parallel path. As more and more European immigrants poured into the country, as more and more land was needed by the United States to accommodate all these new arrivals, the promises that had been made previously were simply forgotten. People say it was inevitable that the United States would become a continental nation, that all of these Indian nations would fall away. But it wasn't inevitable. Every step in the process of the dispossession of the native nations people were making choices, so that a hundred years later, they're still native nations. The ancestors were looking through time in consideration in providence for the coming generations. They put their faith in the treaties, and we're here today because of that.